Emotional granularity is our ability to label and recognise our emotions. Or to say it another way, it is how good we are at putting our feelings into words. Someone who can do this well might be able to recognise the difference between very similar emotions, like if they are feeling frustrated or just disappointed. Whereas someone whose emotional granularity is not so good might think of their feelings in really general terms like good or bad, or may struggle to separate if they're feeling angry or sad. With support from the Wellcome Trust, we conducted a review of the research literature on emotional granularity in young people aged 14 to 24. We were interested to see if there was evidence that it is an active ingredient in adolescent depression and anxiety. Although our search found no studies that examined emotional granularity in depressed or anxious groups, there was good evidence that it might be linked to depression in typical adolescents, though there was less evidence for being linked to anxiety. We also found that it is particularly important to be able to recognise negative emotions, because if we can tell when we are anxious or sad, then we can try and do something to make us feel better, like talk to a friend. As well as examining research evidence, we also spoke to young people with a lived experience of anxiety and depression to hear what they thought. Most believed emotional granularity was something that they could engage with. They also thought it was sometimes difficult to recognise what is considered a normal emotion to feel in a particular situation. For this reason, almost all thought it would be useful to be taught how to improve their emotional granularity. Some suggested that talking about their emotions more or keeping a diary might help. Future research should examine if recognising emotions is a problem for depressed and anxious adolescents. Also, because this is a skill, then we should be able to improve it. If future studies can focus on improving emotional granularity, then we might also improve the mental health and well-being of young people.